what causes plant fasciitis? The cause of plant fasciitis is multifactorial. And what this means is that it's caused by a combination of risk factors in reality, as opposed to being caused by one single cause. So a common reason as to why people get the problem is having tension in the calf muscles or the hamstring muscles. So if the calf and hamstring muscles are excessively tight, this leads to increased um, repetitive strain on the plantar fascia. So if the calf and hamstring muscles are tight, you're going to put more loading stress on the plantar fascia um, as opposed to if your muscles weren't excessively tight. And I see this very, very commonly in clinic. Most people who get plantar fasciitis do have increased tension of the calf and hamstring muscles. And there's lots of research to demonstrate the established uh, connection between the two in terms of uh, being established risk factor. Another potential risk factor is excess foot pronation. So foot pronation is the lowering of the arch or rolling in of the foot and ankle. So this will also put more strain on the plantar fascia. And that's because the job of the plantar fascia is to support the arch of the foot. So if the arch of the foot is lowering excessively, this is gonna increase the tissue strain on the plantar fascia. And for some people, this is gonna be perfectly okay and they're not necessarily gonna get the problem. And that's why there's lots of people who have flat feet who don't necessarily get plantar fasciitis. However, if your foot is more pronated, um, you are at slightly increased risk of getting plant fasciitis. Being overweight is, in an, is another established risk factor. So if you're obese or overweight, you're gonna put more loading stress on the arch of the foot. Um, and this is also backed up with research. There's lots of papers which demonstrate being overweight is a significant risk factor for getting plant fasciitis. People who stand um, for excessively long periods of time due to their work are also at increased risk. So this includes uh, hairdressers, nurses, um, security guards, and people that work in factories on hard floors, just to name a few occupations. So if you're on your feet for excessive amounts of time, this is gonna cause the plantar fascia to work harder than it would do if you weren't on your feet all the time. And this can lead to overuse and strain. Footwear is another common reason. So some people's footwear choice might not be suitable for the activities that they're doing. So if you are doing a long distance walk, for example, let's say you enjoy hiking and the footwear you're wearing is not very supportive for your feet. Um, so if it's a very flat or flimsy soled shoe, then if your foot is not being supported sufficiently, then the foot is going to have to work harder and this can lead to increased stress which can lead to getting plant fasciitis. In reality, most people that come and see me with plant fasciitis often have a combination of these risk factors. So they might have tight calf muscles, their footwear choice might not be very good, they may be standing for long periods due to the nature of their job and they might have a pronated foot. So it's these combinations of risk, of risk factors which can lead to getting the problem. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, and, and if you're interested in more information, you can find more on my website, www.healpainexpert.com. Thanks for watching.